Hey, everybody. Mm. You know, the last few weeks, actually, the last several weeks, we've been working with the oils that have to do with the autonomic nervous system. And, um, you know, as time goes by, we're going to do an even deeper dive into that, especially into the vagus nerve. But now we're still just doing these kind of toning treatments that help balance out the different aspects. And one aspect that I don't talk about very much is the cranial nerves. And the cranial nerves are not nerves that come out of the spine, but they're these nerves that are up in the head and the vagus nerve being one of them. And uh, today we're going to use the same oils that we've been using. So again, lemongrass, anise, tarragon, um, sage, marjoram, and I think we put in there um, ANS support, and no sweat, and, and uh, there's a one, I don't, I don't know if we put it out to you guys, but it's one that I've been playing with for a while that has an impact on the, on the autonomic nervous system and combined with if there's a lot of like kind of stress involved or lower emotions. Um, uh, lemongrass extra. Oh, excuse me, lemongrass complex. That's what I called it. <laughs> But anyway, whichever one you have, and we want to tone these nerves. I mean, they will impact our emotions, they will impact our mind, our our way that our mind processes information. And a lot of times when we, we are struggling with issues like anxiety and things like this, we think about it as if it's a, a what? Like, what, what is it that's causing my anxiety? What is it that is potentially upsetting me or making me feel uncomfortable? And, you know, there is the fears that we, we have treated on the intuitive side but, you know, things like anxiety and it's more of a um, logical mind issue. So it's a different part of the brain. And so we want to keep treating some of these areas where it's not so much about a what. It's more of a process. But a lot of times what starts to happen is we start to have a lot of repetitive thoughts or grinding on something because we're trying to make ourselves feel better or we're trying to make something go away or we're trying to deal with a problem or or dealing with a pain in the body and what happens is over a period of time it changes the way our mind processes information and it's hard to see it when you're in the middle of it but when you are able to see it sometimes maybe in another person or step back and reflect you can see it, or sometimes just making it go away, you realize, uh, I was really kind of grinding on that. You know, we all we all do it. It's 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 human nature. It's it's a potential in each and every one of us. So, you know, the thing that I always tell myself and tell people when we're doing sessions is, it's it's something that when we do catch ourselves doing it, you have to kind of do it with no judgment because it usually is a reflection of pain, like something painful has happened, be it physical, psychological, being displaced, a change, a change of perception, something's up, right? So we want to go through and just start to explore these areas. I mean, that's what's nice about doing these Wednesday nights is, you know, it's half exploration and half getting to know the body, half getting to know the oils. And I'll throw a couple more halves in there so that it's about 250% of something that should only be 100%.
So what I'm going to have you do, be aware of the front side of your body, the whole front side of your body, from the top of your head down to your, to your toes. You're aware of just the front side. Take long, slow, deep breaths with whatever oil you chose. We are taking nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Now, move your awareness to the back side of your body. You're taking nice, long, slow, deep breaths. From the top of the head, down the whole back side of your body, to your heels. Long, slow, deep breaths. Now do the left side of your body, the left side of your head, the left side of your face, your left arm, your left rib cage, the left hip, your left leg. You're still taking nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Move your awareness to the right side of your body. The right side of your head, your face, your right jaw, your right shoulder, your right arm, your right rib cage, the right side of your pelvis, your right leg. Inhale with your awareness on the right side of your body.
Now, go to the floor of your pelvis. Go to the floor of your pelvis and extending down about a foot. Just keep your awareness on the floor of your pelvis down about a foot below the floor of your pelvis. So it goes a little bit past your mid thigh. You're not really focusing on your legs. It's the space in between your legs you're focused on. Take some long, slow, deep breaths with your awareness in that area. Move your awareness to the top of your head to about a foot above your head. Your awareness is on the top, all the way up about a foot. Just keep your awareness in that space about a foot above your head. Let that go. Your awareness is on your whole spine. Put your awareness on your spine. Take some long, slow, deep breaths. Now, just be still for a moment. Just be still. How did that feel, by the way? Yeah, kind of amazing, huh? Your awareness is on your throat. You're taking nice, long, slow, deep breaths with your awareness on your throat. Drop down to the bottom of your throat, the throat minor, that little notch in between your two collarbones.
the back throat, the middle of the back of your neck. Just let go for a second. Just let it all go. Do your jaws, where they hinge in front of the ears. I'm taking nice, long, slow, deep breaths with your awareness on the jaws. Let go of that for a moment. Go to just your right jaw. Your awareness is on your right jaw. You're taking nice, long, slow, deep breaths only on the right jaw. Let that go for a moment. Just open and close your mouth. Can you feel the difference between the right side and the left side? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's even a visual, mm -hmm. visual visual difference, like if you look in the mirror right there. Put your awareness on the left jaw, where it hinges in front of the ear. Long, slow, deep breaths with your awareness on the left jaw.
Now do the jaws at the same time, the right and the left at the same time. Let it go for a moment, just be still. I'm gonna focus on the forehead, just like across the forehead like this. Not, not the forehead chakra, the whole forehead, side to side. Inhale with your awareness on the forehead. I don't know about you, but it's surprising how much tension gets held even in that part of our face. Now do like the eyes, but not the eyes themselves, like the whole area, side to side, the the level where your eyes are at. So your eyes, that, that part of your nose, the bridge of your nose, across from one temple to the other, just straight across. If you feel an area of tension or heaviness, keep your awareness on those spots. You're still taking long, slow, deep breaths in these areas. Explore the cheeks. You can explore your cheeks, all this area. Take long, slow, deep breaths with your awareness on your cheek area, the areas below your eyes. You're still on your cheeks. And then your nose, your whole nose from the bridge, to the sides, all this area, the areas right around on the sides, anywhere where you feel tension in and around the nose, not inside, just the tissues on the outside.
around the mouth, around the mouth and down onto the chin. Explore those areas. Yeah, a lot of tension in the face. Now go to your back head, the not the back head chakra, the whole back side of your head. You either take your hand and just go on the back side of your head, cover just that whole back side area. You're still in the healing. Go to the base of your skull. Long, slow, deep breaths with the awareness on the base of the skull. Now let's do the top of the head. Not like you're doing a chakra or anything, but like if you were to take your fingers and like scrub your scalp and, you know, move like when you're washing your hair, put your awareness on your scalp. Not going super deep, you're not going into the brain. Now start to do the sides of your head. You know, the temple all along the side. <clears throat> You're hitting the tissue. You're not going deep within the brain. So just this whole area. Both sides. The holes in your ears, the ear canals. Long, slow, deep breaths.
move your awareness to the roof of your mouth. I think I've watched Samantha yawn about 30 times. I'm not joking. Hey, just be still for a second. Evaluate your head. Just feel your head. Where do you still feel the most tension or the heaviness? Might be the jaws, it might be in the temples. It might be in your face, like in your cheeks. It might be an area we didn't even touch. Wherever it is, Keep your attention and awareness on that spot. Take a long, slow, deep breath. And just be still for a moment. Just let everything go. Just be still. Begin inhaling, your awareness is on the throat. Move your awareness down to the throat minor, the bottom of your throat.
your back throat, the middle of the back of your neck. Your awareness is on your jaws. Where they hinge in front of the ears. The temples here in the temples. Your back head, your awareness is on your back head. Move your awareness to the forehead where the hairline is. Your awareness is on the back heart between the shoulder blades. The front heart, the center of your chest. Now just be still, be aware, just let go. Let everything go. Notice how you feel, the tension in your body, your mind.
So again, this is to treat the, the cranial nerves. And the cranial nerves impact uh, certain processes in the mental body. For those of you that have a background in psychology, this is one of the things that diminishes some of the defense mechanisms. Another time, another story. So we'll be expanding on this a, a bit and deepening the practice on unwinding the head. So thanks for joining us tonight, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it very relaxing. You know, last week we had people send in emails, you know, sharing their experiences. If you want to do that, feel free. We mm -hmm. love to hear from you. So um, yeah, I love to hear the stories, like the little personal things that happen for you guys. So anyway, love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.